Hello everyone, this is Sonya with Carolina Georgia Mix. I'm outside today. Decided to take a peek at the garden, see how everything's looking and growing. Of course, we do that like every day, but hey, I don't record it every day. <clears throat> okay, so here, here's how everything looking. Those tomato plants over there looking real good. Got some carrots growing. Got some of cabbage. Some mustard greens over there. Got a little bit of everything growing. But one thing I have in my garden growing that I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the icicle radish. I'm not sure what it is. But it's this one here with the flowers on it. I don't know what that is. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so y'all can see just in case someone do know what it is. I'll know when it's time to eat what it is. I do know that. But I have a lot of squash, zucchini. So yeah, this is looking great. Um, some of them already got the flower on it. So everything's looking good. This one actually has a squash on it. Yellow squash. So everything's doing great. And over here are the beans. Hi, Milo. Hi. Hi, Milo. He's always around. But here's the beans. We have pole beans green beans all kinds of beans the good thing about this garden this year is that my husband and I we got our hair and worked the ground but we actually left the kids to actually plant everything into the ground so that was something different we did this year it was a whole lot easier for us while they enjoyed doing what they did And that's the way to get them to forever love um, organic gardening. So that's why I may not know some things that's in here or where is that in here. I know it's in here. I just don't know exactly where at. It's because either I just, this is my first time planting it. And I don't know how it's supposed to look yet. But this is some cantaloupe and watermelon watermelon all along this way so that's all watermelon there and cantaloupe and tomato but this tomato actually grew from the um compost because i didn't plant well they didn't plant tomatoes in here but we noticed that they were growing and that's two tomatoes that come from the compost we have um, turn the compost the other day just to see that there were potatoes already sprouting in the compost all right and this is some corn that I put in a container so I don't know how well it's gonna do but hey it's growing now I can only count for what's going on now <laughs> okay and well these the white onions didn't do so well but the red onions are doing great. The red onions are doing great. Okay, y'all. Now, over here is the grand name banana tree. Last time y'all saw it in the pot in the house, in the container pot. Well, it's out here now. And it's doing great. We moved the fig trees over here because where they were at, they were getting a lot of water when it rained. And they were beginning, well, we just moved it a couple days ago. And you can see that. That's the reason why we moved it over here from 
um, all the water that comes when it rains. And then we have a small one. I don't know how long this phone is going to allow me to record while I'm out in my backyard. But hey, this right here, which I have to come over and clean up because it's hard to tell what is what right now. Grass grow back so fast. But these are raspberries. Those are the raspberries. The little sticks that I did a video on about a month or two ago. That's the raspberries, y'all. That's how the raspberries are actually looking. And this is one um, blackberry. And of course, y'all, the blueberry. This is what I call my berry lane, y'all. All my berries are over here. Look at that, y'all. Got blueberries all over it. Milo, what are you doing? And yeah. So yeah, y'all. Look at that. And in the back right here, I have the strawberries. So a couple strawberry bushes back there. And this is the last one. This is the last blueberry. And it looks like the birds already got into it because it was loaded. Had more than this anyway. So yeah, y'all. That's all that. That's the blueberries. Okay, y'all. Let's take a tour around the yard today. And let me show y'all some of these awesome trees that we have. Okay, this right here is my Elliot pecan tree. That's the Elliot pecan tree. And then we got this this year as a replacement tree. And that's the Pawnee. The Pawnee pecan tree. Okay. Let's go look at the cherry tree. This is our cherry tree. This is the Stella cherry tree. So yeah, y'all. We just got this this year. My daughter actually bought this plant with her, with her own money, y'all. She bought this plant. And it's doing great. Didn't have any leaves or anything on it. Pretty much a bare root tree. So it's looking good. And then over here... We have the double delicious apple tree where Milo decided to come at. But this is the double delicious apple tree. Think. Yellow apples and red apples growing this tree. Okay, y'all. Over here, we have the Fuji apple tree. The Fuji apple tree, kind of tall. The sunlight ain't going to do us no good. But, hey, that's the Fuji apple tree. Y'all can't really see it that well because of the sunlight. Thank God for the sun, of course. But it's kind of blocking everything. And then I have a big pecan tree right here. It's a big pecan tree. So we got that, and I see that it's still letting me record, y'all. And this is another fig tree. I know we have the Celeste, but this one is the brown turkey. And it's doing good in this position. We had all three of them together, but on this side of the property, it gets lots of water when it rains. And this is the banana tree, the vanilla, icebox vanilla banana. And we moved that over here because it can take all of the water that comes with the rain. So that's that one. And then this is the other one that was down, 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 deep down. And we had to bring it back to life. My husband actually brought it back to life. With all the pruning and everything he did to it. It looks amazing. 
compared to the videos that I showed a few months ago. Looks amazing. All right. This is a pear tree. I'm not sure what pear tree this is. We bought this from Home Depot. And I don't think it had a name of it on there. So that's a pear tree. Hopefully it does something this year. It bloomed like two different times last year. So here we go with that. And then we have this orange tree over here. The orange tree, y'all. And this is the meal satsuma tree. Miho satsuma. And it actually has oranges on it. So there it is. It's very low to the ground. But they're actually growing. So that's what that is, y'all. Okay. And then we have the Pozua um, pear tree. And I know y'all saw me make this video like last month. Only thing is going on with this tree that I'm not understanding is the black tips on the leaves. I don't understand what's going on with that. So if someone can tell me anything about that, I would certainly appreciate it. Someone in this garden community should know something. But that's what that is. Other than that, it was a bare root tree that was that I got from Thai Thai Nurseries. And I'm actually ordering another one. I think it's called a Conchuro. So that's what I'm ordering. It should be here any day now. Because when I got this, it said that I only needed one. But somehow I read the same website said it needs two. It like contradict itself. When you just look at the picture, it said it just need one. self fruital. And then you hit that um, instructions or um, pollination information. Then it says two. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. Contradiction right there. But here it is. It does need two, according to them. All right. I don't know what's going on. You see, it looks like bananas raining all on the ground. Well, that's from my Katinda peach tree. Peach tree has gotten real big this year, this season. It's gotten real big. And it looks good. Mine is the yellow leaves. Pretty big tree. So, um, yeah. And we have over here, we have the santa rosa plum tree this is our santa rosa plum tree and it looks like oh uh, i don't know if it's like this because it just got through raining a lot around here but it looks like a weeping willow how it's leaning down it's usually supposed to stand straight up and it actually has a plum on it I don't know where it's at right now, but it has one plum. But, hey, it's on there somewhere. But, yeah, see how it's bending now like a weeping willow tree? But it actually has a plum on it, so I know it's a plum tree. All right, this is what we just planted not too long ago. This is the air. This is the variegated pink lemonade, <laughs> lemon tree. I said lemonade. This is the variegated lemon tree. So here's that. It has a lot of new leaves on it. So it lets me know it does love its environment. Something's being done right. Because all these leaves weren't on it when we purchased it. And then we have over here, I think it's called a Lisbon lemon tree i'm just ready to see something grow on these trees then we have 
the Ty Kiefer line. It has a lot of little limes on it, y'all. Y'all see that? I like to take lime and make a pound cake with it. I like to make a lime pound cake and then make the icing with some lime too. I have the extra flavor. This is um my kumquat tree. And of course that's my um grapevine. That's the grapevine. Kumquat tree. So we have a blood orange tree. Right there, doing what it's gonna do. We just need some sun to keep hitting on it. Then we have a tangerine tree. This is the actually the clementine tree. And then we have the blood orange tree. Small, small, and we're gonna see what it's gonna do. But it is small. So, and then back all the way in the back of the property, there's that Red Haven peach tree all the way back there. But I don't know if the Wi Fi is going to allow me to go all the way back there. So I better stay where I'm safe at. Well, thank you guys for coming out back with me. I appreciate your time. And if you have any comment, any suggestions, about any of my issues that I've showed you guys, especially with my pear tree, please leave those be unneat. Until next time, y'all, Sonia with Carolina Georgia Mix. I'm out. Y'all keep smiling. Thank you for watching.